Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the hotel management system using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with the wallet system in the hotel management system. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. And if you do, consider dropping a like and also a subscription as it will really mean the world to me. So let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and you want to open up the user dashboard views py and just down here i want to create a new view that will be called wallet or passing request in there so for the wallet i pretty much want to grab the bookings and the total spent we already have this here so you could pretty much copy this and put it down here the only thing that we want to add is wallet wallet balance now this one is totally up to you if you want to add this you can add it if you don't want to add it you can pretty much still call it from the template without adding it here so you can say requests dot user dot profile dot wallet just like this and then you can take the wallet balance and put it in here all right then i also want to change the template name from dashboard to wallet then now let's create a new template um, here that will be called wallet html okay and let's also register this view in the URLs py. So somewhere down here, this is called wallet. All right, so when all this are done, let's open up the dashboard sidebar and let's create a new URL for the wallet. Okay, so when we are done with that, let's open up our code editor reload this page and when we click on wallet we should be in the wallet template all good now hop over to the main templates folder user dashboard and i want you to come over here and select the wallet copy everything in here and put it to your own blank wallet html and you could also still include um this here all right let's reload the page Okay, we need to also add the end block. So please do not forget that. Uh, I know I'm using dollar signs instead of percentage sign. All right, there you go. This is what we have. Now let's uncomment the sidebar so that we can actually see the sidebar show up. There you go, all good. So now for the total spent, we could pretty much say total spent dot amount. And for the wallet balance, you could pretty much say wallet underscore balance. Here you go, see? And now, and then for the spending history, that one will pretty much be gotten from the booking. So I will, that's why I actually added the booking here. For B, uh, for B in booking, then end for just where the LI ends, okay? and make sure to indent your code so everything looks okay and for the hotel that one will be b dot hotel dot name and also for the payment status that will be b dot payment underscore status and for the amounts that was paid that one will be b dot total for the other number b dot booking id for the dates B dot date for the amount spent B dot total. All right. So without out of the way, when you reload this page now, uh -oh, what's going on? I think that was called bookings. Okay. So you can see premium hotel. It's paid or we paid 1056. We also paid this. We also paid this. I believe that it's everything is working well now. So, um, Without out of the way, that's everything that we want to do for now. In the next video, we'll get started working with the bookmark. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. And if you did, consider dropping a like on the video and also your subscription to the channel will really mean a lot to me. And until the next video, mad love, peace out.